pressure builds, I push back Pulling on the threads of fate The chords within these fleeting moments Find the beat my heart creates Faint vibrations, words that get disturbing in the twilight Piercing through the silence, echoing throughout the night They shake the atmosphere, the heavens and the land Rebellion in the making where we stand This is the time The unknown is going so I cross the line I'm breaking out, got no more doubt to raise your voice I'm Karina Reeves, the voice of Encore in Wuthering Waves. I'm so happy to be here talking all about Encore and the official release of Wuthering Waves. You can spot Encore in a crowd from her eye-catching pinkish hair and energetic voice. She and Alto really shake things up in the story and bring a whole lot of fun to the game. Encore's past stories are still a mystery, but hold on tight as more will be revealed. Wuthering Waves is already a fantastic game. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, unique storylines and thrilling combat. I'm so excited for you guys to dive in. One sheep, two sheep, three... Ah, uh, where was I? Hey, it's James Day, the voice actor for Alto. It's so awesome to finally meet you all. I'm so excited to be able to join everyone here and talk about this incredible game. Wuthering Waves can't come soon enough, and I'm loving seeing all the hype for it. And I really hope that the game reaches more people on its official release, as I can't wait for more people to fall in love with Alto. I mean, who wouldn't? Just look at his sunglasses! Just go watch his character trailer. But like I said earlier, there's more to Alto than his goofy nature and his cute mist creations. Well, if it isn't my loyal patron, what do you wish to inquire about today? Hello everyone, I'm Alex Jordan, the voice of Chian. I am over the moon to talk to you today about Wuthering Waves and my role. Chian was originally a medical professional and was later motivated by the righteous cause to protect the people of Jinjo. Now, as the general of Jinjo Garrison, he fights with firm convictions and a strong sense of faith. I've seen all the anticipation the Wuthering Waves is receiving online. People seem to really love its unique design and thrilling combat gameplay, and I hope even more people will get to experience the world of Wuthering Waves on its official release. Jian of the Midnight Rangers, protecting our lands and people is my solemn duty. Should you encounter any difficulties here, I will do my utmost to help. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. Adventure with me and my Willy? Plants talk in a silent and sincere language.
the Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Did you just offer yourself up to be my prey? <laughs> no one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. The secrets I hold might be bigger than you imagine. If you really want to know, you'll need to survive this first. Hmm. Now you'll behave. Zap's strength. It's our curtain. This rain, it's finally happening. Over Thrax, the Thranodian of war would be reawakening soon. Bearing the significance of growing chaos, warding off external threats. Attention all troops! Take position and get ready to engage. This will be our final battle with the Thranodia. This must be the right time Jue was talking about. May victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Apart from the original four acts released during CBT2, this version will also introduce two new acts. Act 5, Rewinding Raindrops, and Act 6, Grand Warstorm. Rover will gradually reclaim some lost memories during exploration of the world, surpassing the lament and reaching for the truth amidst all these obstacles. Meanwhile, in version 1.0, companion stories for the following characters will be available. Jian, Yinglin, and Ling Yang. Stories about the resonators including a recollection of past events brought by the Retroact Rain, an unexpected encounter, and rumors about the beasts of Zhenzhou are waiting for you to experience firsthand. So that means the new content means that we're going to have new maps, right? Yeah, so as the stories develop, the players will unlock different regions within the Jinzhou territory. These include the Jinzhou City, the Central Plains, Wuming Bay, the port city of Guizhou, Tiger's Maw, Dim Forest, um, Winding Axe's Mire, Desa Rock Highland, and a lot more. As for the new maps, we have the Norfall Barrens as a location of lore significance in the open beta. It lies adjacent to the Desil Rock Highland, north of Jinzo. This ancient battlefield serves as the front line against TD outbreaks. Uh, players who venture there must ex exercise extreme caution. I believe Norfolk Barrens is the one in CBT2 where they seal it off, and there's yeah. actually a huge cannon over there, so I really, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that place. Okay, so new storyline, new map. Our next topic, I'm guessing, will be monsters. So it's called the Dreamless. It's a mysterious residual entity that descends over Norfolk Barrens, and it's one of the anomalies of the dual moons. So it takes the form of a sphere and is identified as a Thranodian during its dormant stage. Now due to its continuously escalating internal energy surges, the possible de detection methods against it have failed, so its threat level is, you know, can't, can't really tell them what that Sounds looks like. Sounds very powerful. Yeah. yeah. So I believe that combat against the strong enemy will definitely give everyone a really thrilling and rewarding experience, especially for the players. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, so quite a few cool things being added into V1.0. We've covered the monsters and a few sneak peeks here and there. Before we move on to the next portion of the broadcast, let's check in with the voice actors and actresses again. Hi, I'm Rebecca Yeo. I'm Yang Yang's voice actor. Spoiler alert! Yang Yang is the first character you will meet in Wuthering Waves. Her gentle demeanor and quiet strength and companionship will be your guide as you journey through the game. However, as the story develops and as Yang Yang grows in skill and confidence, you will discover that there is more to her than meets the eye. Wuthering Waves is a sprawling, story-rich, open-world game that introduces us to memorable characters, gorgeous graphics enhanced by an equally beautiful score. Kuro Games has created a dynamic world that evolves based on the player's choices, and I really hope that the Wuthering Waves community falls in love with it as much as I have. I hope I can be the one to embrace all that you are and share with you all that you carry. So, for reaching all of the milestones, all players across the world will be able to receive 20 lustrous tides, 20 rolls, 200 asteroids, a sigil en route, as well as 80,000 shell credits, an advanced resonance potion, you get 10 of them as well, and a ranger's weapon supply chest of choice through the in-game mail. So remember, after the open beta begins, download the game, open up your mailbox and receive all your rewards. We can't thank you enough for all of your support. Thank you, we really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast as well. But next up, we'll be covering highlighted events that are featured in version 1.0. So now, Havian, could you share a little bit more about the convene event with us? Yeah. Starting from the opening on May 22nd PT, players can use Radiant Tide to participate in the character convene event, Prevail the Lasting Night, and obtain the featured five-star resonator, Jian. At the same time, they can use Forging Tide in the weapon convene event to obtain the featured five-star weapon, Verdant Summit. Then starting from June 12th PT, players can participate in character convene event when Thunder Pours to obtain the featured five-star resonator, Yinlin, and the Reppin convene event to obtain the featured five-star weapon, Stringmaster. In both character convene events, players are guaranteed a five-star resonator after up to 80 convenes, with a 50% chance to get the featured resonator. If the resonator is not the featured resonator, the next five-star resonator is guaranteed to be the featured resonator. In the weapon convene event, after up to 80 convenes, players are guaranteed to obtain the featured five-star weapon, and the obtained five-star weapon is guaranteed to be the featured weapon. Also, there will be featured five-star resonator trials during the character convene event. Players can try out Jian and Yinlin to master their skills ahead of time. Players can also use Lustrous Tide in the Standard Convene to obtain resonators and weapons to boost the strengths for battle. In Standard Weapon Convene, players can select a 5-star weapon for targeted Convene. The selected 5-star weapon can be switched at any time during Convene, and when obtaining a 5-star weapon, it's guaranteed to be the selected 5-star weapon. After obtaining the selected weapon, players can continue to switch targets for targeted Convenes. Wow. wow, that's really cool. Wow. Yep. Guaranteed. I'm excited for that. Guaranteed. What a nice system. Well, let me add more details here. To make it easier for players to obtain resonators, we will introduce a beginner convene event. Players can use Lustrous Tide to participate in Utterance of Marvels, the beginner convene event. In this event, every 50 summons guarantee a 5-star resonator. The convenes cost 2 attempts less if you attempt 10 convenes at once. In other words, players will only need to spend a maximum of Lustrous Tides times 40 to obtain a 5-star Resonator. Mm, that sounds good, but these are all just regular content, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, I feel like many players might not be satisfied. Is there any kind of like immediate bonuses they can get? Well, I'll introduce the bonuses. Oh? While we're kicking off both the Character Convene event and the Beginner Convene at the same time, it'd be a bummer if we couldn't get the Resonators we want. But here is the solution. Oh. After obtaining a 5-star Resonator from the Beginner Convene, the Beginner 5-star Resonator Convene of choice will follow. Oh. Here, players can pick their favorite standard 5-star Resonator for targeted Convene. Pick? Yep. Wow. With up to 80 Convenes, they're guaranteed to get a desired Resonator. That means Ooh. everyone can nab at least two 5-star Resonators from these events. That oh, that's is good so news. great. Wow. 
Guess that we don't have to news. worry about missing out on the five stars. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, additionally, and there is an additionally, players can also obtain afterglow coral or oscillated coral as extra items during convene. Afterglow coral can be exchanged for resonator wave bands of standard or featured resonators, convene tokens, and other valuable items. Oscillated coral can be exchanged for convene tokens and development materials during each event. Well, that, that means you can accumulate coral to you know, upgrade the resonance change and it, it won't expire. Yep. That's pretty cool. This, this, is, this is great. Is there anything else? Well, what do you think? Is there more? Yeah, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Version 1.0 will also include many simple and easy events. Players can receive Lustrous Tide and Radiant Tide by logging into the game daily, while Day 5 login grants an instant reward. Four-star Resonator, Sanhua. Oh, wait, Sanhua? Yeah, yes. yeah. Sanhua. Yeah, free Sanhua. Yes. <laughs> yes, Sanhua. <laughs> now you can realize your dream. Yeah, I can continue my dream. <laughs> yeah. I've got a question though. Can yeah. we get Yang Yang? Yes, <laughs> Yang Yang will join everyone's team in the Prelude. Everyone? So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. But is it, is it Yang Yang or is it Rex Yang Yang? Uh, I don't know. I might Aren't break they the one game. and the same? Whoa. <laughs> I mean, depends. I want Rex Yang Yang. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I would too. <laughs> And during our Awakening Journey event, players can increase Union level to get Lustrous Tide times 40, Asteroid times 1,600, and a standard five-star weapon of choice reward. Wow, five. so just by leveling up, we get to choose a five-star weapon? That's amazing. Absolutely. Wow. So many rewards. Let me highlight other featured events. First up, we have the Rumbling Hollows event, where players can take on the Tower of Adversity to get the four-star Resonator Yuan Wu Ooh. from this event. Wow. along with other rewards. Okay. That's cool. Also, for Depths of Elusive Realm, the roguelike gameplay will be available to challenge in version 1.0. In this event, players can obtain random elusive echoes, metaphors, and special buffs for resonators each time they enter the dungeon. By applying different combinations, players can experience different battle styles. Players can also earn rich rewards including Asteroid and Phantom Echoes. But that's a lot of asteroids so far. That's a lot. Sure, Even that more is. rewards. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of battles, the time-limited battle event Alloy Smelt will also be open. In this event, players can experience the accelerating battles of Resonator's rapidly advancing abilities and obtain asteroid development materials and other rewards. Even more asteroids. Yeah. Yeah. So, lots of rewards. I've already lost count myself. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from battles and echoes, there's more. The high-speed Free and mobile essence is a major highlight. To ensure everyone can fully enjoy this lightning fast experience, we're introducing the Overdash Club. Oh. This event involves players to conquer parkour challenges across oh, Jinjo man. to earn Asteroid. So you'll be using the grappling wow. hook a, a lot yeah. to be like soaring around places. Well, I thought That's I thought we were so gonna cool. see parkour coming over here when Sanha was announced. So now we have to see <laughs> some in the game yeah. as well. Jumping over all our yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for that detailed introduction. There was a lot to cover there. I hope that you are all excited for not only the gifts that you're going to get, but all the bonuses that are available in the game when 1.0 drops today. But before we go into those games, let's hear from our voice actors and actresses again. Hello, I'm Samantha Dakin, and I'm the voice actress of Baijiu. Hopefully, you'll get to know Baijiu a little bit more through this introduction. Baijia is a dedicated researcher, and although she often talks with coldness and distance, she's quite approachable. She possesses an inquisitive mind and a great passion for knowledge, which has been proven through her tireless efforts in the study of remnant energy. Weathering Waves is already a fantastic game. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, unique storylines, and thrilling combat. I'm excited for you to dive in. I am Baijia, a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Hello, this is Harriet Carmichael and the voice of Chisha in Weathering Waves. I can't wait to tell you a little more about the hero of Jinjo, Chisha. So to me, uh, Chisha is encouraging. She's always energetic and straightforward. She's able to utter her thoughts without hurting anyone's feelings. I think she's the kind of hero you'd love to have by your side. 
Wuthering Waves is already receiving high praise for its unique designs and thrilling combat. And I know the game will appeal to a wider audience once people get to experience its gorgeous, enchanting worlds on its official release. Jinjo Patroller Chisha! You can always call on me if you ever find yourself in a pickle. Hi there, I'm Claire Louise Connolly and the voice of Tao Chi. Tao Chi works for the Ministry of Development in Jinzhou. Though she seems laid back, Tao Chi is in fact a strong and reliable presence in Jinzhou and a constant support to the city's defence. But perhaps more importantly, she is a good listener and is always willing to help people in trouble. Wuthering Waves is already a fantastic game. I can see the efforts made by the team to create brilliant characters, amazing graphics, storylines, sound design and combat mechanics. I'm excited for you, the player, to delve into the world. Time to work? <laughs> oh, no more lazing around then. To launch a brand new merch project. In oh, fact, really? there's been one sitting here the entire time. Oh. Look at our big brother over here, the crownless figurine. Oh, my gosh. oh wow. I mean, it's been here the whole time and it's part of the new merch project that's going to launch. Whoa. It's amazing. Wow. He looks really imposing. Definitely a worthy opponent. <laughs> yeah, and you know, if you have it at home, it will always remind you of the first time and your first moments you entered the game, right? Yep. And wow, this is. Wait, that's Yang Yang's figurine? Yeah. This figurine captures Yang Yang's battle posture in great detail. This is a chibi figurine of Jian. Is Jian using a gourd to absorb the gold puff? That's so cute. Yeah. I'd want to get this one. Yeah, I never thought General Jian, who is usually solemn, would have some <laughs> cute and relaxed moments. Well, in addition, an ecological exploration supply box is under development at the moment to oh. celebrate the official release of Withering Waves. The box contains various items um, and it showcases the ecological setting within the game. Besides that, there's a lot more Wuthering Waves merch in the works. So for more information on related pre-sales and sales, just follow the Wuthering Waves social media account. We'll release the purchase info as soon as possible, so stay tuned. Well, that all sounds fantastic, and I, I can't wait to start playing for myself. Absolutely. Any chance that we can already pre-download the game? Absolutely, and I have that information right here. So, pre-downloading of Full Wuthering Waves starts at this time. So players can head on over to the Epic Game Store, they can head on over to the official website, the App Store, or the Google Play Store to get the game. But that's not all. The official open beta is scheduled to kick off at... Nice. <laughs> but that's not all. Here's yeah. some more exciting news. Is that Wither Rains will be available on the Mac platform as well. So Keep an eye out on our social media channels for updates and for the pre-order for Mac users. Mac Amazing. gamers, rise up! <laughs> Hi, I'm Chase Brown, the voice actor of Male Rover. I'm glad to have the chance to talk about Rover and Wuthering Waves. In the story, Rover is brought to this world without past memories. Entangled by obstacles and conflicts, he manages to remain unshaken and true to himself. A new journey awaits brimming with novel sounds, stories, and fragmented memories. Hi, I'm Jane Jackson, the voice of Female Rover. I'm really excited to talk to you about Rover today. I really look forward to the experience that players will have exploring the world as Rover. She is surrounded by so many intriguing mysteries that begin to unravel as the storyline progresses. I'm excited for the audience's reaction to it. Wuthering Waves is a hotly anticipated game that has been meticulously developed and refined by the creators. I'm excited for its launch and for the gaming world to fall in love with Wuthering Waves. Let me be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Hello everyone, this is Naomi McDonald and I'm the voice actor for Yinlin. Yinlin is a wielder of electric power. She gives off an impression of ambiguity whilst achieving her own goals. However, in moments of conflict, she always does what's right. I'm excited for players to delve into the world and, most importantly, meet Yinlin. I will make good use of this power and fight by your side. We'll confront evil wherever it lies. Thank you for 
，而外送上石美焕生波纹，同时再加石美氟晶波纹。最后，不管前路高高低低，我们一定会保持初心，用一个又一个精彩的版本，来回馈和满足大家。最后，感谢镜头前的你对明朝一直以来的支持。我们五月二十三日在明朝的世界，不见不散吧，拜拜。